Hi, I am Ruan Daundu Segar, in service advisor, Provincial Department of Education, Central Province, Kandy. Yes, now, hope you all received the booklet about self learning and revision kit regarding your ordinary level science syllabus. Today, our target is uh, covering few questions based on the electrochemistry part related to your all level syllabus. So, let's move to our first question today. Please take page number 20, question number 13 in section 1. You know, in your guide, there are three sections, 1, 2, 3. In first section, 13 question in page number 20, question based on electrochemistry. Here, first move to the question. Question number 13. A. A group of students use the substances given below to prepare a set of apparatus to investigate the conduction of electricity through aqueous solutions. So, list of solutions and materials given here. What are they? Connecting wires, bulbs, dry cells, carbon rods, a switch, a beaker, sugar solution, sodium chloride solution, sodium hydroxide solution, distilled water and glucose solution. Here simple printing mistake in your book. This should be glucose solution not the glucose. Please correct it as glucose solution. Here list of materials given here. They are going to check whether electricity passes through the liquids or not. So, first question based on this list is what is the solvent used to prepare the solutions mentioned above? Here, there are four solutions given. What are they? Salt solution means sodium chloride solution, sodium hydroxide solution, sugar solution and glucose solution. So, you know the way of making a solution. In mixture lesson, we already learned how to prepare a solution. You know, there are two requirements to prepare a solution. What are they? Can you remember? Solute and also a solvent. As an example, uh, if you want to prepare a salt solution, you will take some sample of salt crystal, solid salt. That is called solute. And also, if you want to dissolve this solute in some liquid, that is the solvent. What is the solvent used here? Water. Then dissolve sodium chloride crystals in water and make a sodium chloride solution. In same manner, you can prepare a solution of sugar too. How? Take some solute called sugar and dissolve in the solvent called water and you can make a sugar solution. In this manner, there are four solutions given in the list. What are they? Sodium chloride solution, sodium hydroxide solution, glucose solution and sugar solution. So, in addition to that, there is another liquid is given as distilled water. Now, this is the way of preparing all those solutions. Best solvent to make those solution is water here. But here what is given, not just water, it is mentioned as distilled water. So, you have to know what is distilled water. You know, if you get a sample of water, drinking water or marine water from the uh, sea, but this water contains a number of dissolved mineral salts. Commonly in science we call mobile ions. Mobile ions. Due to the presence of those mobile ions, what happen? When an electric supply supplied to those solutions, they will conduct electricity because due to the presence of mobile ions. But if there are no ions in a the solution, they never conduct electricity. So, if you get sample of that marine water and tap water, they conduct electricity. But what is distilled water actually? Now here in this diagram, it is shown one way of making distilled water. Take a sample of water, that will be what uh, marine water or fresh water or brackish water, whatever the sample of water you have to get and you have to supply heat. When supplying heat, what happened in a certain temperature, it reached its boiling point. After reaching the boiling point, that water start to boil and converts this liquid state into gaseous state as steam or water vapor. Then you have to cool down, subject to cool down this uh, steam or water vapor and take colorless liquid sample again by the process called condensation. After cooling, they condense and become liquid droplets again. 
this water has no any mineral salt mean mobile ions this is free of mobile ions such water is called distilled water due to the absence of mobile ions in this distilled water it never conducts electricity so what is our first question what is the solvent used to prepare the solution mentioned above what is the best solvent used here is distilled water as given here so first answer is distilled water just move to second question what is the chemical formula of the solvent that you mentioned above you know now already you mentioned as answer solvent is distilled water you know distilled water mean actually it is water you know water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom they combine each other by covalent bonds and make the water molecule so water molecule composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom so what is the way of writing the chemical formula of water molecule you know two hydrogen and one oxygen the answer is what is very simple from grade six you learn this h2o what is the answer h2o then third question let's consider third question c part state the two ions produced when ionizing the solvent stated above you have to know what is ionization you know if you get a molecule of sodium chloride NaCl if you dissolve sodium chloride in water what will happen this sodium chloride molecule breaks into sodium plus ion and Cl minus ion this process of breaking a compound a molecule into its ions known as ionization in the same manner when supplying an electric supply to the water this water molecule also subjected to ionized how this water is made up of h2o this breaks into h plus and oh minus ion so there are two types of ions positive ion and negative ion will be there that means what cation and anion is there what is the cation h plus what is the anion oh minus So answer is H plus N or H minus. Then go to next question. Here. Given below is a set of apparatus used by the group of students to conduct the certain activity. Not the certain activity, actually above activity. Mean to check the conductivity of electricity to aqueous solutions what is the setup here used a beaker filled with aqueous solution there are different solutions given and also then that the students immerse two carbon rods here carbon mean you know it's a non-metal non-metals are not conductor do not conduct electricity but here use carbon what is the allotropic form used here that is graphite you know very important allotropic form of carbon is graphite graphite conduct electricity okay but it is a non-metal you have to immerse two carbon rods here and using connected wires connected a switch and also a bulb and also two dry cells mean battery and also they mark as p q and r here in your book there's a simple printing mistake please correct as my presentation here p is what switch q is what you know that cross mark is there that is bulb and r is what carbon rod so what is the question switch bulb and carbon electrodes or carbon rods is the r then in your book simple mistake here they asked that uh, uh, write the cathode and anode no that question should be corrected in this manner mark the positive and negative terminal of the electric cell please correct that mark the positive and negative terminal of the electric cell here you know in any electric cell or battery there are two terminals one is positive terminal the other one is negative terminal here you know how denotes them in a diagram 
you know this what dry cell or oh, electric cell is denoted by long straight line and short straight line here long line is the positive terminal and short line depicts the negative terminal here so you can mark in the diagram in this manner how as positive and negative as positive and negative as given in the diagram please mark in this manner plus and minus okay just go to next question here according to the observations made in the activity states above complete the following chart now you know there are two types of compounds in grade 10 under the atomic structure we learn there are two types of compounds what are they ionic compounds and covalent compounds what do you mean by ionic compound these are the compounds made up of the ionic molecules what are the molecules with ionic bonds you know sodium chloride sodium hydroxide like compounds made up of ionic bonds mean they are joined together positive and negative ions combined together by ionic bonds those compounds are called ionic compounds as well as you know ammonia ch4 methane and also water carbon dioxide those molecules contain not the ionic bonds they have covalent bonds so such compounds are called covalent compounds in grade 10 chemistry you learn the aqueous solutions or molten liquids or fused liquids of ionic compounds conduct electricity but the uh, aqueous solutions or molten liquids or more fused compounds of uh, covalent compounds do not conduct electricity so this is very very important point because you have to separate you have to recognize is it ionic compound or covalent compound here in this so for solutions there are uh, four compounds one is sodium chloride the second one sodium hydroxide third one glucose and last one sugar out of the given list here you know sodium chloride and sodium hydroxide are ionic compounds while the other two sugar and uh, glucose solutions are covalent compounds so glucose and sugar solutions do not conduct electricity but sodium hydroxide so sodium chloride conduct electricity so easily you can understand this how they conduct electricity by using this given apparatus here in the given apparatus you know bulb is there if you switch on the bulb what happens if an electric current passes along the circuit and if passes through the solution definitely compulsory that bulb should be lighted okay if this not conduct electricity bulb never lights up so by observing the what ignition of the bulb glowing of the bulb you can get understand is whether liquid that conduct or not the electricity here accordingly you know solutions which conduct electricity two solutions given here what are they sodium chloride solution because it is ionic second one sodium hydrox solution that is also ionic and also what are the solutions do not conduct electricity sugar solution and glucose solution okay good just move to next question which properties should be contained in the solution capable of conducting electricity yes today earlier we already discussed due to the presence of mobile ions normal water conduct electricity but due to the absence of mobile ions in distilled water distilled water never conducts electricity so it is clear that presence of mobile ions is compulsory to conduct electricity through a solution so what is the answer which property should be contained in the solution cable for conductivity presence of mobile ions presence of mobile ions is the answer and also then write an observation that can be used to prove that the electricity conducts through the solution you know how to prove this conduct electricity by observing the what glowing of the bulb here what happened what bulb get lights up answer is what light in the bulb light in the bulb lights up the bulb then we can say electricity passes through this solution yes let's move to next question here what is given in the diagram test tube is there 
and it is filled with dilute hydrochloric acid sample acid sample and also put a piece of zinc into that then what will happen you know zinc is a metal in the upper part of the activity series you know that high active metals or act metals react with dilute acids and form they are relevant salt of the metal and hydrogen gas so when put zinc piece into hydrochloric acid this start to form its salt zinc chloride and also as a result of this this is given out hydrogen gas also but while observing by observing we can't see we can't recognize this as hydrogen this as oxygen this as carbon dioxide just we see only volume of bubbles from the what solution so what is the observation evolving of gases don't write evolving of hydrogen gases because you can't recognize it as hydrogen without doing any experiment to test it got it so what is the observation evolving of gases is one observation and also another observation will be there by reacting here what happened to the gradually that piece of zinc start to dissolve here so with the time sometimes if it is a very small piece it will disappear so what happened here actually but this dissolve zinc plate dissolves or zinc piece dissolves zinc granule is given zinc gradual dissolves in addition to that if you touch the test tube ball of the test tube here you will feel that your hand get hot because test tube get heated due to the releasing of heat during the reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid so another observation is that heats up the test tube here right then please move to next question right here you know zinc is an active metal active metals also you know try to release electrons one two three electrons to become stable okay normally their atoms are non-stable like noble gases so they try to release electrons one two three electrons to form their stable electronic configuration as near as noble gases configuration so what happened zinc also released just two electrons to form zn2 plus ions this process of giving out electrons by an atom is called oxidation and also what happened this zinc released two electrons if there is a donor there should be a gainer so donor is the thing who is the gainer gainer is the h plus ions in the acid this h plus ions in the acid receive this electrons given by the zinc and they become hydrogen gas so h plus become hydrogen gas by gaining electrons the process of gaining electrons is called reduction that is called what reduction the re process of releasing electrons called oxidation process of gaining electrons called reduction oh here what is subjected to oxidation here active metal always here what is the active metal here zinc zinc subject to oxidize and release two electrons and form zn2 plus here here we'll see the answer zinc granules react with dilute hydrochloric acid and zn2 plus ions are formed or produced here too what is given electrons are donated to the h plus ions and this process occurring in the sink is called what is oxidation oxidation my dear children what is we discussed today this is the basic part of the electrochemistry without this basic knowledge you can't learn the other parts so please refer this given booklet very well and try to answer all the questions related to electrochemistry part very well then step by step we can discuss up to the end okay in coming less uh, sessions we will discuss about the next parts and also most difficult parts in the electrochemistry please come for the next class with the idea about this basic knowledge okay thank you very much my dear students then we can join again in new session. Goodbye.